Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Mix Mag DJ Lab. No, no. All right then. Whatever. Okay, guys, every Friday at 4 pm, we stream some of the world's best DJs. I'm very, very excited to uh, present two gentlemen that have dedicated their life to forward thinking music. It's Zed Bias and Roy Davis Jr. Yes. Check out Zed's forthcoming LP on Lofi Swamp 81 record label. There's tracks with Roy Davis on there. Um, but for now, enjoy the stream. Set by 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 Set by
Cause move on now So come on, tell me How you feel Everybody In my neighborhood Where my DJ, where my DJ keeps, keeps, it keeps it real If you drop it right Gonna make us move on now So come on, tell me How you feel I feel good, good, good I feel good, yes, wonderful, good Anytime I come in the dance I feel listen to the man, man, man In my neighborhood I feel good, good, good I feel good, yes, wonderful, good Anytime I come in the dance I feel listen to the man, 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 man. I feel good, good, good I feel good, yes, wonderful, good Anytime I come in the dance I feel listen to the man, man, man In my neighborhood I feel good, good, good I feel good, yes, wonderful, good Anytime I come in the dance I feel listen to the man, man, man In my neighborhood In my neighborhood In my neighborhood In my neighborhood
Meditation. Yeah. 
And that's what you call smashing the shit out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Zed Bias, thank you very much. I thought, while, while I, um, rather what Royce is setting up, uh, I believe you two have been in the studio together. We have, yeah. 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 How was that? It's coming it's come for this one page one release, right? Yeah, yeah. We, um, Roy come and stayed at my place for a few days, five days, and then we went down to Red Bull Studio. Yeah, we, 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 we made five or six tracks and then yeah. added to them, recorded Kelly LaRock over one of them. And, uh, and we got we got some surprises around the corner. So yeah. yeah. But the first one's coming on the Swamp Eighty One on my uh, on my album. Amazing. So um. So how was it working with Roy? Did you have similar sort of production techniques? Or like, d was it the first time in the studio together? Must be weird when two people, you've got different methods of working. How do you find that like rhythm together? Well, it's pretty easy because Roy is much better on the keys than I am. Okay. So <laughs> gravitate towards the chords. Okay. <laughs> 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 so that, yeah, pretty much, yeah, it was, it was easy Fair for one. me. And um, I guess obviously, like both of you, like I said in the introduction, you know, you've been pioneer pioneering forward thinking music um, for your entire oh careers. And, and, and that, without giving away your age, it's been a long time now. Both of you are, I hate to use the word legends, but kind of legends of the game, aren't you? Roy's been around a lot longer. He's not a lot older than me, but he's been around a lot longer. Yeah. I got into it relatively later on in, in life. Um, but yeah, Roy's. Were you like, like a fan of his work before you got into yeah, it? Yeah, Roy's like a true pioneer. You know, he was around from the birth of, of Acid and, and House. He, he's out of Chicago, he's, this is where it come from, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, pleasure to, to work with him. <laughs> Roy, you got anything to say? It's been a pleasure to work with my boy Zed too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Respect, man. I love this dude, man. He got my back. Yeah. Making it happen, you know what I'm saying? Shy City, what up? Started from the bottom, now I'm here, baby. What's up? And uh, not a lot of people know this, but um, Roy's got a talented family out there. He's he's got a couple of brothers that are on the on the rap thing, and uh, he's been they've been recording with me as well. So look out for that as well. Okay. Shout out to Jay Noise. Hip hop stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And will they come out as Zed Bias or? Um, no, they're gonna come out under their names, but okay. yeah, I'll I'll background. be in the shadows. I'm just in the background now. Anyway, who wants this mic? I don't like this. <laughs> okay, guys, okay. Enough chat. Let's uh, listen to Roy Davis Jr. in the Mixed Bank DJ Lab. <laughs> on untap on expectations. On untap on expectations. Untap on expectations. In other words, I must be committed to meeting God's requests with results. I got to know God has expectations of me. God has expectations on my gifts. He has expectations on my abilities. He has expectations on my skill set. He has expectations for my money. He has expectations for my friendships. I got to know that God has expectations of me. Revelation 4.11 reminds me that we were created to glorify God. I've got to know that, that God has expectations and sometimes when it comes to serving God and giving to God, I, I, my, the expectations that God has for me don't even register in my mind. Just like in a whole lot of marriage relationships or a whole lot of relationships, sometimes that there is not a commitment to overachieving because one thing doesn't understand or embrace the expectations of the other man. And so I, I was in a, I was in a counseling session not too long ago, and 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 uh, me and, and two of the couple were sitting at the table. And,
keep on moving. You didn't want to build. There's too many days all about you. One sided love affair. It's time. It's time. I gotta slide. Right there in front of you, prepared to give you my everything. But you never saw true love in me. I was only a temporary thing. Oh, yeah. Caught up always in another state of mind. You never really saw the passion in my eyes.
Yeah. 
Thank <laughs> you. 